A deadly game of dares is growing in popularity all over the world. Hadn't heard about this. It's called the neck nomination phenomenon. It mixes dangerous amounts of alcohol with teens and social media. Karen Lair has been investigating and joins us live in studio with the details. Don Michelle, the so-called game is believed to have started in Australia, but has since gained popularity across Europe and into the United States. But it's not just all fun and games. Neck Nominate has already taken five lives. And it is a pint, I do believe. This is how the game starts. Videotaping yourself drink large and dangerous amounts of alcohol. Then, upon completion, neck nominating or daring your friends to outdo you. You've got 24 hours, lads. Get it done. It's kind of the next step of outdoing peers or trying to be more cool than, than the next kid. Um, by outdoing them in these high risk behaviors, and in this case, it's uh, high risk drinking. My next moment, I, Jared Adon and Ash McFarlane. Some participants mix the drinking with other dangerous activities like jumping off bridges or riding motocross bikes. Whether it's <laughs> jumping off cliffs into lakes or um, driving fast, it's another, you know, thrill seeking behavior that is always going to be there. St. Luke psychologist Roger Olson says parents need to step in now, talk to teens about the game and discuss potential harms before it's too late. There's always uh, a risk for bullying online um, and this could be uh, kind of another form of that, especially if they're nominating a child that they um, see as vulnerable um, or another teen that they want to um, maybe cause harm to, this would be a way to do it. Neck Nominate has already taken the lives of five people, all men under the age of 30. Although teens and young adults may call it a game, there are no winners. Dr. Olson says teens and young adults are more likely to get involved with cyberbullying and risk-taking behaviors if their parents don't open the conversation. He also recommends keeping computers in an open area in the house and talk frequently with your kids about what they're doing online. Live in studio, I'm Karen Lair. Today, six on your side.